Hey, what's up guys? This is the Game Hunter, another episode of Slug Terror Slug It Out 2, and in this one, we're gonna compare two of the fastest slugs in the game. I'm talking about Megamorph Aquabic versus Megamorph Spit Stinger. Before we start with this episode, fellas, I would love to say thank you to every single one of you guys. We finally reached 500 likes in the... I think that was two videos ago. So now we start writing a letter to the developers of Slug Terror Slug It Out 2 asking for multiplayer. So, so keep posting in the commentary section down below why Slug Terror Slug It Out 2 should have multiplayer. All right, so two of the fastest slugs in the game. Let's see Aquabeak using its Aqua Jack attack. Aquabeak shoots towards the opponent at a very, very high speed and deals heavy damage. All right, and in the other hand, we got Spit Stinger. Spit Stinger is a very fast slug that can do a lot of damage to the opponent with lucky hits. With lucky hits. Hmm. All right, so maybe it's time for us to put the information on the screen for both of this slug. We got Aquabeak with health of 821.3 we got the speed stinger with 958.2 okay that's a lot of extra hit points more than 100 hit points hmm. damage 851.5 against 958 what are you kidding me are you kidding me is really speed stinger better than aquabeak i thought it was completely the other way around all right, speed 68 both. Okay, so there's not really one faster than the other. And then we got the critical hit chance. 17.6 for Aquabic and 15.4 for Speed Stinger. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised. I really thought that Aquabic was much better. All right, so we got a clear winner, I guess. Okay, let's see. Using Aquabic attack, Aquabic shoots towards the opponent at very high, high speed and deal heavy damage. Yeah, but the damage that it does, Spit Stinger is, is a lot, is a lot more. It's almost a, <laughs> almost 107 more. Wow, wow, that was ridiculous. Okay, so we got a winner. It's gonna be Spit Stinger. So Spit Stinger is the best, really? What do you think? Let me know in the commentary section down below which one is your favorite slug, which one is your favorite fast slug in the game. And the other thing that will be great if you post down below and let me know which one should we compare in the next episode, Slug Terra. Slag it out too. Okay, we got Blastipede over there. We're gonna just use Blastipede and maybe let's use Fandango. Why not? Fandango was the Fandango was the loser from the previous one, right? I think that Thugler was much better because he can also drain the opponent. Um, even when Fandango was supposed to be the best charger in the game, at least it's more popular, right? And um, at least for me, <laughs> so, I was kind of disappointed in that point. To be quite honest, I really thought it was uh, the other way around, but. All right, that's the whole reason we're doing this episode, just to figure out exactly what is happening in Slugter Slayer 2 for real. Okay, so first of all, we need to hurry up. We got our faster slugs in the game. Speed Stinger, oh, okay, it's gonna get shut down. That's not a problem. Oh, we got plenty of uh, Fandangos right here. So Fandango is almost ready to go level two. Let's go with Fandango level, oh, we're gonna get counter again. All right, that's, that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. We're fighting against a really tough opponent now. All right, we got Blasty the level level two, almost level three. Let's see. Here comes Fandango. We're gonna use that one to shut you down. There you go, Aquabic. Tons of damage. Well, on Aquabic defense or defense, uh, I would say that the critical height chance is a little bit higher. It's not like it's a lot, but look at the damage. 957 that's so much damage yeah the critical hit chance i believe it was like a two points uh, wow look at this guy what what spit stinger went through every single slug are you kidding me <laughs> another good reason to say that spit stinger is the best okay let's go for one more battle because these guys are just amazing all right, uh, I thought for a second that we need to upgrade Spit Stinger, but apparently not, because we are ready to go. Uh, let's bring Thuggler, 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 Thuggler. Perfect. All right, so let's go to another duel. And again, let me know which slugs we can compare. We should compare in the next episode. Uh, we can compare the regular ones, Omega Morph against uh, the, the Elementals. You will be the judge um one of the reasons i'm doing this is because i know some of the slugs are a little bit expensive to get uh so just to make your life more easy i'm trying to 
help you with the comparison so you guys can decide okay okay yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna buy this one i mean i'm gonna get the i'm gonna spend some uh a, some money to buy one of the chests and unlock that specific slot it's completely worth it and i will say that yes yeah you, you can decide exactly what you want the, do you know what and the other thing i i was reading some of your comments fellas about the why we should have the, the game in multiplayer and some of the comments are amazing because when you play in single in single player mode you, you can't really see the how strong is your combination right because when you play against the ai the ai is not that challenging so it's it's it's, it's really easy for you to just go with any combination and if you're fast enough you're gonna win the battle but in uh when you go into a multiplayer match, it's completely different because the, the composition of the team is really gonna matter a lot. It's gonna be so important. So again, that's another good reason for us to to request multiplayer and you are still on time to write your, po your comments down below. So maybe you can be included in that email that we're gonna send to the developers. And hopefully we can get a good answer or, or something at least. Uh, regarding the multiplayer slot tracks lag it out too um i mean the, the, the oh you know what i remember some of you guys were posting and asking me if i can do a video of slot tracks like a one a uh, multiplayer uh, and that, that would be fun that would be super fun i haven't played multiplayer in a long time so <laughs> i'm pretty sure we're gonna have tons of entertaining moments um that, that was this is too powerful this is too powerful and i think I, i'm really surprised that blastip is so op <laughs> it's so OP. I thought for a second the Aquabeam was much better. Oh, did he enter me? Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I really thought the Aquabeam was better, but now it's like I completely changed my mind. Aquabeam was one of my favorite at the, in the TV series, but now it's like, a, okay, now we got another one. Speed Stinger is as fast as Aquabeam, more powerful than Aquabeam, more hit points. And the only thing that is the advantage of Aquabeam is in the critical hit chance we're gonna put the information on the screen one more time just for you to compare for the last second 17.6 against 15.4 the critical hit chance at level 20 that's probably the only advantage that aquavi has over speed stinger fellas this is the game hunter with another episode slug to us like it out too don't forget to like subscribe share my videos and i will see you in the next one take care everybody